tinctures and topicals, capsules and creams. Store shelves are stocked with the latest consumer craze, CBD. These are our oral ingestives. David Deck manages this brand new store in Depew that sells only CBD products. When someone comes in and asks, what is CBD? What do you say to them? I start from the top, you know, I want to make sure that everyone is as educated as possible. I tell them CBD stands for cannabidiol. It's derived from hemp, which got legalized by the federal government last year. CBD is now used to help with everything from pain to nausea, anxiety, and insomnia. It's a natural anti-anxietal, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-convulsive. As a result, you'll find CBD cosmetics, bath bombs, even suppositories, and not just for people. Dogs who are experiencing discomfort in their joints. Yeah, there are lots of CBD products for pets. They are our furry little children, yeah. so people take it very seriously. In total, CBD is already a 10-figure marketplace, expected to grow to $16 billion by 2025, and that's a conservative estimate. What do you make of the explosion in popularity of this. But I think finally people are coming around and kind of warming up to the idea of using hemp as a feasible way to, to help. But not everyone is on board. We really don't know what's in these products. Sally Greenberg is executive director of the National Consumers League. What do people need to know about this industry? Well, we want Buffalonians to know that there is an explosion of these products out there and the vast majority of them have never been checked for their safety or effectiveness. A scientific study published in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, found more than two-thirds of the 84 products tested were inaccurately labeled and had either too much or too little CBD. Other tests have found products with potentially dangerous ingredients. Including pesticides and herbicides and uh, toxic mold, uh, arsenic, lead. So we have a wild west of CBD products that have exploded into our retail establishments. We wanted to do our own testing on products that were purchased online, at a gas station, and at specialty stores. A lab in Florida examined them and found the two sets of gummies bombed. Neither had anywhere close to the CBD that was listed. The rest of the products were pretty close, including the SunMed tincture oil that's sold at David's Your CBD store. We would never put out a product that is less or more than what we say it is. That's because his company tests the products, then sends them off for independent testing, then tests them again. Lots of CBD sellers don't do that. Here, you can guarantee that they're getting what the bottle says. Right. It's really heartbreaking to deliver a great product uh, that you know we've checked and checked again and then have, you know, some Joe down the street selling absolute poison that he yeah. made in his basement. The National Consumers League is calling on the FDA to more fully regulate CBD products. We're asking the FDA, please know that consumers uh, are behind your efforts. Let's get started. Let's list, list ingredients. Let's make sure the benefits that are promised are really there. It has CBD in it. David supports that. The Your CBD store chain, which has more than 500 locations nationwide, wants the scrutiny. It's not often that a company welcomes governmental regulation. Right. It'll make companies that are actually putting out quality products that much stronger. While the FDA is not ready to fully regulate this industry, this week the agency did put out new guidelines regarding CBD, warning that it can cause liver injury, affect other medications, and have unknown side effects. Bottom line, more research is needed. However, the doctor nominated to be the new FDA commissioner acknowledges potential benefits, just with some caveats. There are signals that CBD, for example, um, is can be uh, an effective medical product and I think we have to have a clear and transparent uh, framework for assessing them certainly on the medical product side. Despite some concerns there's no sign of CBD slowing down so it's up to you to weigh the benefits and risks and shop around. The best advice for now let the buyer beware. So keep in mind right now, there is only one CBD drug that is actually FDA approved. It's used to treat a very rare and severe form of epilepsy in children. We've right. reported on that with medical marijuana. And it's important to keep in mind that the CBD we're talking about is from hemp, the stuff you can buy in all these stores. Right. It is not CBD that not is also medical. found in marijuana. And so that's a big difference. Also, it has no THC in it or just trace amounts. That's how it is uh, able to be sold in GNC or gas stations or wherever. And you, you were mentioning off camera, go to somewhere reputable, right? 
that's one of the things that we've learned about this. When we test this stuff, some of the stuff you buy online or in some places, uh, you don't really know what's in it. And there is no federal standard right now. There's not a whole lot of regulation surrounding this. And so uh, you kind of got to do your own research. Yeah, and I have. I, of course, have had back surgery six mm -hmm. years ago. When I have an episode, like I recently did, I actually use the ointment and... What normally would be a 10 day episode was about three days of pain. Yep. And when you're in pain, you'll try anything. We hear a lot of anecdotal stories. The question is, what are the long term impacts? A lot of research has not been done into this, so there remain questions. And you tried it, you weren't 100% sure, right? No. Yeah. Used it on my 10 on your elbow. elbow. I still got it. You still, <laughs> still got it. All right. Thank you, Michael. Yep. Mary Alice?